Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. If I didn't experience this myself, I I would be a little cautious about what this woman does. Now, I believe in intuition, intuitive, psychics, all of that. I've experienced it. I've witnessed it. I've tried to punch holes in it. Yeah, there are some people that aren't legit, but the ones are, poof, all right, they got something going on. She takes it to a new level. As a medical intuitive, being able to look at somebody and feel their energy using her intuition, tell you what's going on in your body medically. She did it for me. I didn't tell her anything. She identified a number of things, just blown away. We're going to go deeper into that process and look at it through the eyes of what's called the Akashic Records. We'll explain in just a moment. It's fascinating. Dr. Gloria Warren is with us. Once again, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Uh, just equally as fantastic. <laughs> and what you do is fantastic. Um, I don't know how you do it, but uh, you did it for me and you do it for many people. Not that mm -hmm. I was skeptical, but you know, I, I got to see it to believe it. And uh, you did. What are you, before we get to this thing called the Akashic Records, which I'm aware of, and uh, I've had a reading before about my Akashic Records, when you're looking at somebody, scanning them, I guess, with your eyes and your intuition, what are some of the things that you can medically pick up and even some of the things that you have picked up, even in the recent past? Well, uh, first, I can pick up topical things. Obviously, a lot of people can do that. They do that when they go to the doctor's office as well. But then I look inside and I look at the vascular system, the cardiovascular system, the uh, the um, neurological system. Um, I look at all your bones even and and thought processes and what's going on with your internal organs and things of en any type of nature, pretty much. Hmm. I try to see what's wrong, and that's what I do. Now, you're not a replacement for a medical doctor, although you have, you've seen things that doctors haven't diagnosed or seen yet. It's almost as if you're, you're, you're in addition to a doctor, just another piece of information. Right. I help the doctors out. I help the patients out, and I see things. I mark them down. I see the root causes, I mark it down, and then I see what potential reconciliation would work for them. And they can take that information to the doctor's office. And I've had physicians call me up and say, how did you know that the glucose was 148? <laughs> you know? So, well, then that moment in time it was, I was surprised, you know, two days later, it was still at that, but okay. Um, but I see what's causing the problems too. So, in general, if a doctor, you know, many times they can, they're just baffled by a patient. There's so many different problems that are stacked up that it's very confusing. We're all human and we all have problems when things are stacked up. And I can actually get through the stack and see what the root cause is. And if they fix the root cause, usually the patient is doing very well then. Hmm. So. This is not just a woman with intuition. You have a medical background. Yes, I have. I started out in laboratories when I was 18. I ended up uh, surgical assisting, medical assisting, uh, pharmaceutical research for eight and a half years, research and development. I'm a researcher now, uh, very heavy uh, medical research. Um, and I do this as well. So, wow. Uh, I, I it just, it amazes me. Uh, and I would absolutely have you in addition to a doctor because things that are missed or even right. a tip, you know, let's say, let's say you picked up on something and the doctor didn't order the test. Let's be honest. Many times they don't insurance, you know, we're not going to do for that test. We're not, not that, you know, no, um, you may be the reason to order the test. Um, and I, you know, some people again are, are skeptical, but, uh, Let's back it up even more with a thing called the Akashic Records. I can explain it. You would do a better job. It's very, very simple, but we can use Akashic Records to uh, pull on information. 
when we do anything intuitive, any uh, type of venue of an intuitive can use a classic Kashuk records as long as they know how to tap into it. And anyone in the general public can tap into it. The Kashuk records, it's basically like having an etherical encyclopedia Britannica and guides, <laughs> plus guides that guide you to where you need to look, where you need to um, think, what you need to think about, whether it be physically on a patient or whether it be spiritually on a patient, things that may be putting stress on different bodily functions or areas or um, even, uh, even the heart. Uh, so everything is all one big puzzle and they help us sort it out. So it's, it's really a big part of what I do. How do I say this? I'm more on board for what you do than this thing called the Akashic Records. I don't doubt it for a second. However, I, I find it a slight, slightly woo-woo until proven otherwise with me. Right. And, and I've had somebody access my records and I'm going to say, and everybody has different ability in doing that, but I'm going to say it was fairly accurate. Not as yeah. detailed as I expected it to be, but again, everybody is different in the way they read it. What is some of the information that can come from the Akashic Records? Right. You have spiritual information. You have your guides in different places around you. It's that inner voice that talks to you. Some they, people call them that all the different types of names come up. Angels, um, the Holy Spirit, uh, my dead relative, you know, whatever it is. A lot of this is part of the Akashic record. It's just the whole universal knowledge that comes through different ways. So um, what I can do today is explain how you can learn to use the Akashic records, how you personally can learn to huh. hear that voice give you information. And I thought that would be a great topic for this week and give them some more information on what they can do at home without paying for it. <laughs> and it's right there for them. I didn't even know that was possible. So I'm sitting back here. Sure. I'm, in, I'm in school. Gloria, go. <laughs> okay. So uh, the first thing I would have to say is uh, you're going to have an open window, so to speak, in the through the middle of the night. Your brain is, it slows down in the frontal lobes. Your ego goes to sleep. So your spiritual side and your brain and your thought process is more open to receiving information. This is the just step one. So when you go to bed at night, you take a piece of paper, a notebook. I always keep a notebook. Matter of fact, I have my notebook right here, mm -hmm. a notebook and a pen. And you tell yourself at night before you go to bed, I want to you know, I want to sell my car. Should I sell my car? Should I keep it? What is, you know, ask your questions, go to sleep. And hmm. nine out of 10 times you'll wake up or in the morning and you'll actually have the answer. No, I should sell the car because the engine's starting to go. And I know I need a new car and I need to trade it in before the engine goes. Okay. So you may wonder, how did I get that information? Is that me or is that from somewhere else? But once you start doing this, when you get that information, you need to write down the answers to your questions and then try to, you know, think, did I wake up? I'm not sure. OK, well, maybe, you know, this tonight I want to wake up and I want to be able to write it down. So give me the answer to this question. I'm going to write it down. Please help guide me and go to sleep. And most of the time you'll be able to do it the second night. You can wake up. And when you get the answer to your question, write the answer down first. That's very important. It will, everything else will fleet from your head so fast. So write down the answer and then put your mind in the place when you ask that question or when you receive that answer, what you were thinking or what you asked and keep doing this. And then in the morning, when you wake up after say about a few days, five days, maybe start putting your mind back in that place by reading. This is what I asked and this is what I remembered. I remembered asking this question and I remember hearing this answer. And then throughout the day, read that question, do it again. Put your mind back in the, when you heard that answer in your head, remember, you, you need to recognize when a thought is not your own. 
Okay. It was easy for me because I was raised with a very poor grammar and my grammar was really bad. And these answers were very prophetic. <laughs> so I knew, Hey, that's not me speaking. <laughs> so you, you write them down and then you go through it throughout each day. You could just keep going through that question that you got through the night. And then eventually you can, in the morning, when you get up before you, you know, really wake up, you can ask a question and you may actually get that answer right away. And you'll be like, Hey, wait, I think I just got an answer, <laughs> you know? So then you write it down, write them both down. And throughout the day, you can start asking questions and your brain will be trained, slowly being trained to do it during the daytime. So you can start asking questions and getting answers anytime you want. It's just amazing. Just remember, you know, it's not just about you personally, it is about everyone. So I may invent something, but somebody across the world invented it at the same time because we picked up on the same frequency and we both had it. So um, it's it's important that you realize it is not just you, but if you ask questions, you can get answers. You can do this. It usually takes a couple weeks. I've had a head priest at university. It took, the, it took him one lesson. He called me up a few days later and he was so ecstatic. He's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can hear and I can ask questions and get the answers <laughs> that I'm looking for. He was so so amazed, you know, but he was one of long thought and prayer throughout the day. So uh, mm. this type of meditation. So, Well, it, this is me personally. This is in line with what I believe. We have, we know the answers. We all have the answers. We just need to remind our Akashic brains that, hey, we're here to talk with you. And and please, you know, I want to open these open these um, ego valves up and go and open up to this information and receive this information. And with me, with medical intuition, I'll sometimes be looking at somebody, say they're very ill and there's so many different things happening. So I'll try to stick to one area first and then I'll try to go to the next. And then I'll, all of a sudden they'll say, Oh, I need to look at this. Wait. <laughs> okay, there it is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> so they guide me with what I do. So you take it in a, a different direction than I, but I'm this is new word to me. If you look on my phone, I have different phrases that I look at. They just support me. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now, meaning you got everything you need. You do. Right. And that includes do. that includes the answers to all your questions, your problems, yes. your challenges. The pr but what gets in the way? Ego, logic, all of that. And when you can strip that away, right. there'll, be, there'll be the answer. answer. So this just seems like another way of doing that, but it's going to source. It's going to, I never realized that Maybe it's going to the Akashic Records because it was my belief that it's going to your intuition, the gut feeling. What is that? That's what you're saying. From within, intuition. So yeah. um, Akashic Records is seeking from the outside, but they can answer questions that normally you wouldn't be able to in your human form. Unless, of course, you listen to the uh, Einstein. Einstein said that it wasn't from within him. It was from outside of him somewhere. That's why he dealt with ultra interdimensionality and things of that nature. And he always wanted to put things concrete. So he tried to do it mathematically. But many of the geniuses through the world are actually tapping into the Akashic record. For instance, my son, he was known um, a genius early in life. And in his case, uh, first year of high school, he won, won that mathematical genius award and the juniors and seniors were so upset because he was a freshman, but he could see an algorithm and just spit out the answer like that. So, but in the end, he could see immediately how he got that answer. So as he said, it's like it just appeared in his mind. And that was a pulling in from the Akashic record, whereas intuition it would come from within. And that means, you know, you go to school, you learn step by step. How do you do this algorithm? What do you start with? You start with this, you do this and the different steps. That's That can come from intuition, um, but intuition can be very spiritual too. At the same time, your intuition could be fed by your guides, your guardian angels per se, or your wow. guides or a parts of the Akashic record. So you may think they're intuition. All you know is it's inside your head. So you need to learn how to delineate did it come 
from me as the source or an outside source. And that's where you have to figure out how did that come in my head? What were the words I heard at the time it came in my head? Was it my speech? Was it my voice? Was it an outside voice? And you can easily delineate that if you start thinking about it when that happens. So like one of the workshops I would do is we I would train them step by step and each each person is a little bit different. So I would train each as a group and then go through it step by step. Well, what are you hearing? What did you notice? Let's take it from there. And you can self-train with this if you know the steps. And today, that's why I wanted to give everybody the steps so they can practice at home, just like seeing energy and feeling energy. This is more practice at home. You can learn this now. As far as using it, if you want to, you can contact me and I can. Uh, we can set up a workshop. I do party workshops for things like this and for journeys and energy and things like that. So it's just another one of those layers you can add to your personal repertoire of, of knowledge and learn what you can do with it. I wasn't expecting this. It was, I believe the Akashic Records holds all the answers in terms of where you've been, where you're going, what's happening now, insight from the other side and that all of too. that. That too. But mm -hmm. this, I never even thought that this was a way to do it. And I've heard from for decades, I'm talking two and a half plus decades, always have a journal book or something in a pen next to your bed so that you can write down your dreams or whatever you get, because you're going to forget them. And you know, if you wake up in the middle of the night and this is all in line with what you're saying, it's just the source. We're talking about a different source. But what I'm gathering, and I'll just recap in here, you ask, you ask the Akashic Records or universe, whatever it is, what you're at, you need. I need an answer. Right. And, and just release it, let it go. And in a few days, you'll start getting the download. And yeah. you know, many times we wake up in the middle of the night, you know, you have to sleep, maybe you go to the bathroom. It's like perfect time. <laughs> yeah, because you're not even fully conscious. Right. Yeah. And then just just write it down. You'll forget you even wrote it down yeah. when you wake up in the morning. Oh, I wrote something down in the middle of the night. But that is your answer because at that time, everything has been stripped away and now you're able to receive. And I have to believe that if there was some way to go flip a switch during the day when we're conscious, right. if you will, to shut all the other stuff away, the logic, the ego, and just boil it right down. Got the answer right away. Right, right away to have it. You know, it's funny when you said you have to use you have to use the bathroom, but you know, when you when you have to pee in the middle of the night, let me tell you, your your brain is on primitive mode. So ego is probably still asleep. <laughs> and it is the perfect time to ask. You may lay down and actually sit there and oh my God, there's my answer. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Uh, and this is fascinating. I can't wait to try it doing it tonight. You know, I've got yeah. a business idea um, before I make any right. even small investment in it. All right. Akashic Records Universe. What do you think? That being said, got a, got a couple of minutes left. We'll just use that as an example. You have an idea. Is it a valid idea? How do the Akashic Records know something like that? It's a universal knowledge. They, the the Akashic record knows what the thought of the minds are throughout the whole globe and then some. And it can actually help you, guide you. I've invented several different things. And even all my workshops actually was given knowledge. This is what you must do. Okay, okay. I just take orders, you know. <laughs> and um, it, it's just, you can test your theories. You can test your inventions against the Akashic records. And you can ask them, is this doable? And then you're like, oh, shit, darn it. There's something already like that. And it's 10 times better than what I thought. You know, who would have known? <laughs> they would know. <laughs> so so yes. am I in this in this instance where we're talking about, you know, idea you have and you're wondering if it's going to work. Is it the universe, the Akashic Records already knows based on everything that's going on? Let's say you have an idea to create a new widget, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Love that name. <laughs> whatever. Could be anything. 
the Akashic Records all in the universe already knows that there's a need for those widgets. So many people are saying, I wish I had a widget. Right. And, that, and then you're going to get the download where it says, that's a good idea. Or the reverse of that, there's five other people. There's 50 other people around the world patenting, rushing to patent this right. widget idea. So it's going to come to you and say, mm, you might not want to do that. Maybe focus on something else, whatever it might be. Is that kind of how this is all working? Yeah, that does happen. And that's when you say, well, how can I improve on it to patent that? Because <laughs> okay. if you have an improvement in a patent, we know that you can have it patented. So that's when you take it to the next level. And they may actually show you that you'll yeah. be walking around the next day and, and you'll say, oh, my gosh, wait, I can get it better. You know, if I combine and be more sustainable and make it more of one part instead of 20 parts, you know, yeah. so. Right. Uh, maybe just apply it to a sustainability foresight rather than just, you know, the different parts to make this widget. It's so. often been said that when you go with your gut, a lot of times it's a, a lighter, airier feeling where mm -hmm. uh, when you're going against your gut, but you're, you know, I don't know, it's heavier. And a lot of times the lighter, airier feeling, you say to yourself, <laughs> it can't, that can't be it. It's too easy. How can that be? It's too easy. It's a, it's a, no, no, no. That, yeah. That's that's not it. Let me go with the other yeah. one. You're making a mistake, and yeah. many of us wouldn't even think to you know call it dream and go to bed and wait for the answer because it's just too blank and easy. But that is point, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that's come up with so many wonderful ideas, Einstein, etc. This is what mm -hmm. they did. This is what they did. Right. And, and a lot of times it was just so easy, you know, just even in seventh grade, I had a university wanting to take my son and then, and then my daughter. And then, you know, it was like one after the another. And um, what it was is when they were little, I taught them how to listen to intuition and the Akasic records. And I taught them how to learn very simplistically. And they just took off and everything was too easy for them. So things can be easy and correct. But at the same time, sometimes some things, if there's a lot of value weighed on that decision, you may just want to sleep on it. And there's that term again. I think I'll sleep on it. <laughs> and if you're still in training, you know, it's best to sleep on some of those very important earth changing, world changing, life changing decisions. There's the aha moment. Sleep on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they say that. Yes. Well, those yeah. who know, those who know. Uh, yeah. Fascinating. Um, Gloria, for anybody that wants to use your services to figure out what's going on medically with themselves using your intuition, or even just unpack a lot of this, I know that you you have so much, you have retreats, you do so many different things. Uh, first off, how do we find you? Well, you could look at my website, which is medicalintuitivegloria.com, uh, or you could call me 715 892-6304. Once again, 715-892-6304. And remember, text is best for me. I get a lot of calls. And if you need a quick answer, please text. You'll get a faster answer for me than any other way. Thank you for today. Thank you. Take Just care. Amazing. And then, by the way, that idea I had, I literally just messaged my web developer and said, I'm, I'm working on an idea. Um, you know, could, could, how much would it be to, to, to do a website for this idea? But before I even get there, going to sleep on it. Yes. I'll let yes. you know. I'll let you know what I yes. get. <laughs> you may actually end up with an improved idea when you wake up. That's the norm. <laughs> and my gut, no pun intended. Is, right. is actually is actually telling me that that uh right. here's an idea but right. it could be this if if yeah. i sleep on it uh awesome we'll talk soon okay all right thank you so much have a um, good one thank you you too we'll be right back Bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action.
Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay. 